Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to use insect dust to control vine borers, cucumber beetles, squash bugs, and the related on your cukes, zooks, squash, and plants like that. I'm also going to show you my routine. I dust in the evening, I wash it off in the morning, and I'll explain that in a second. But the first thing I want to talk about is insect dust, if they're organic, if they're chemical, they're all chemicals, and because they're all chemicals, they don't discriminate between killing the good and bad bugs. So you're going to have to deal with that. If you want to control vine borers in my area, if you want to deal with squash bugs, if you want to deal with cucumber beetles, you have to use dust. Now, how I try and help out the good bugs, the bees, the pollinators, is I put lots of wildflowers, perennials, annuals all over my garden. I'm not putting any chemicals on my lawn. It's getting covered in clover just so that the good bugs have other places to go where they're not going to get chemicals. Let me go show you how I use dusts in my garden. Now I prefer to use the 7 Dust. I've researched it, I'm comfortable with the product is, and I recommend you really research the chemicals that you use. And again, a chemical can be man-made, it can be organic, there's still chemicals. Here's some a couple cucumbers, Market More, National Pickling, this was a lemon cucumber right here. Now there's no flowers on here, and because there's no flowers, you're not going to get the pollinating insects or the bees. And cucumber beetles come before there's flowers. Squash bugs, vine borers all come by. So in the evening, let's see if I can do this without putting too much on. Now that's not all poison. This is a 5% dust solution, so 95% of that is inert. But the chemical is there that kills the bugs. And just dust it on just like that. Let's get a little more on the stem. And the cucumber beetles will crawl through this and they really die really quickly. If there's no flowers, you can leave this on for a couple of days. Um, if there were flowers, I dust at night like I am now in the evening, and then in the morning I rinse it off so that I'm not affecting the uh, pollinating insects that are coming to the flowers. In some cases I'll remove flowers and just put dust on the leaves, and I'll show you how I do that when I get to my next set of cucumbers. But right now this is how I do it for the cucumbers when there's no flowers. This will take care of the cucumber beetle. So like I said, I'm letting my lawn go, and this is a bunch of clover, and it's usually covered in bees. So if you wait till the evening, it's about 8 o'clock right now, you can see that there are no bees here. And that's a good sign that you can go ahead, use the dusts, because the bees have gone away, the pollinators have gone away, just make sure you rinse it off in the morning. So here's my round zucchini. Again, there's no flowers. Vine borers come in from a moth. The moth comes down, finds the stem, lays an egg on the stem, the egg hatches, the larva buries into the stem, and then it develops and grows inside of there, eating your plant, destroying the vascular system, and that's why you see the leaves wilt. Again, right over the stem, drop in the dust. That will take care of any hatching eggs. Um, hopefully, it will take care of the moth that comes to and lays the eggs of the vine borer. But you want to start using the dusts now, when you don't have flowers, to really kill off potential for the vine borer. Also the squash bugs are going to be coming in. And to deal with the squash bugs, it's the same thing. You drop the dust in there, they will crawl through it and we'll take care of them. Now let's go to an example and pretend there's flowers on the zucchini and I'll show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how I dust eggplant to take care of um, what are they called? Flea beetles. Yeah. So this is my gray zucchini. One thing to note is that pattern on the leaves is perfectly normal. That is not a disease or anything like that. And a lot of people see that and they start worrying that they have powdery mildew. It, it's not. It's part of how the leaf is uh, structured by nature. So let's pretend right in there there's flowers. So if there were flowers, one, we could remove the bottom flowers, but we don't really want to do that because we want the vegetables. What you would do is instead of dusting the stem, just dust a leaf like this. There's a great chance that the beetles are going to crawl through that, they're going to walk on that. It's not on the flowers so that you're not leaving any on there in case you don't wash it off in time for the pollinators. But you would just come by in the morning, rinse that off, and then repeat again in the evening. Now when there's no flowers, go ahead. Woo! That's what happens when you do it left hand. You don't want to use that much. And remember that most dusts are really, it's a 5% solution of the actual chemical that kills the beetles. The rest is inert. Okay, let's go to the egg. So here are my eggplant that I'm growing in containers. They're doing extremely well. The leaves are really nice dark green. They're massive. 
and you can see some holes in there. Those aren't from flea beetles, they're from something else, probably snails or something. But I take care of them another way. Massive stems, and this one's starting to flower, this one's starting to flower, but flea beetles don't really hang out around here, so you can avoid the flowers. Flea beetles will come, they will crawl on the outside of the leaves, and that's when you see thousands of tiny holes in your leaves, the leaves start turning yellow. That's from flea beetles, and all you really do is drop the dust on the leaves. The flea beetles will crawl through that, that will kill them. You're staying away from the flowers. You would do a lot of the leaves. Again, do it in the evening when the pollinators go away. Rinse it off in the morning and then repeat again. This is the only way that I've personally found to control flea beetles. It would be great if companion planting worked and all those different things worked, but it really doesn't in my opinion. How these insects find your crops is they can really smell them. When you start breaking the leaves of your squash, your zucchini, cucumbers, they can smell that. The bugs come to where they want to be and, you know, they do their bug business. So again, keep in mind that insect dust are really effective for taking care of flea beetles, squash bugs, vine borers, cucumber beetles, and the like. But use the product with care and with respect. Use it in the evening, rinse it off in the morning, and you will take care of a lot of the insect problems in your garden. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.com. It's also my seed shop. Thanks for watching.